I know I'm kind of cheating wearing a Naruto shirt. It's Kakashi, man. He's awesome. These are so special as they were so hard to find growing up. It was amazing when you found the rare YouTube clip with some of the fights. And we'll be covering the original and the remake, both from video games of either the same name or from Raging Blast 2. Let's get into it. Now for this first one, side story, plan to eradicate the Saiyans, I can't recall if I've seen this whole thing. I didn't remember a lot of it. I recalled some of the fights, and I know I'd seen some of it via YouTube, but this was really hard to find in the past, like I said, so I'm tempted to count it as a first time watch for that. But I won't, since I know I watched it. I think. Same for the remake. I think. But I actually really dig it. I had to watch a low quality YouTube video of this one and the Japanese voices uh, slash musical style takes some getting used to. I found a DVD of it later, thankfully. Uh, but it's awesome. It's a unique premise with a fabulous backstory uh, with the Tuffles that sets the stage for GT with great fan service callbacks that don't overstay their welcome and a gritty aesthetic that feels organic to the tone with its animation. The Dark Planet was a fascinating concept that I wish had been explored more here as it is visually stunning. It actually reminds me of Exegol from The Rise of Skywalker. There may be more in the game that this OVA was created for. Loved all of that, but I can't get my hands on that. It's too expensive or too rare or all that, but it looks cool. At times, especially in the first act, it feels a bit long with the goofy looking monster villains, which is ironic since we usually complain about how short these are. Yet, there's a lot of globe trotting, more fights, and some genuinely funny humor. I just wish we had an English dub. But I, again, ironically, like a lot of the DBZ films, there's not quite enough time to fully explore the villains, but what they do here was pretty excellent. So it boils down to pacing, really. The genius of the fighters really comes out. I wish the hand-to-hand -hand fights had been longer and more fleshed out and better choreographed, especially when all the movie villains come back, which is an absolute highlight of the movie. I'm really happy I'll watch it again. It's just a shame it's not available on home video in the US. You have to buy an overseas region-free copy in a collection that's kind of expensive. And I, again, I wish there was a Funimation dub. It's cool that it got a remake that brought it back into the spotlight, but did it need it? Or could they just have remastered this one? Either way, it's cool we have, we have both of them. I probably shouldn't even get into it here, but as far as canon goes, despite the fact that they power down and Trunks' hair is the wrong link, this is another one that has to be during the 10 day wait for the sale games, because they even mention Broly, which takes place in the same time period. Broly, who is obviously way stronger and cooler <laughs> than Hatchiak. I give it 3.5 out of five stars. Now for the 2010 remake, in an ironically fitting move, considering the original was an OVA created for a video game, I think a VHS game, it's pretty neat that this was remade for Raging Blast 2, forever cementing it in all DBZ gamers' memories. I was a little burned out on DBZ games at the time, but I still played it, and I'm pretty sure I watched through this game while playing it. Lamenting the fact that there was no English, I was a little less patient with that at the time. I'm not sure if I realized actually that it was a full remake or not, perhaps I just forgot. But it's both an improvement in subtle ways and a bit of a detriment in bigger ways. Making me question why remake it at all? Why not just remaster the original like I mentioned earlier? I echo all of my previous thoughts on the story of the original. What's nice here is that there's a proper prologue to set everything up with some bonus scenes that was really dang cool. And while I do prefer the 90s animation style and aesthetic, this looks great since it is in HD. It's just missing that sense of grit that accompanied the original's animation style. It's almost too shiny. What's also missing is any semblance of fat in the story. There's the necessary exposition dump in the prologue, but any extra boring shots, scenes, or silly fights with cartoon monsters has been cut out. Even the trip to the dark planet and you know what it actually is is gone i miss those small bits especially with the space travel section because it was fun there was a lot of humor there which was great in the original and ultimately i think because of those little things it's a little bit more inferior this is a lean mean dbz movie that's just a bit too rushed at times but really fun and a lot easier to access it's almost dead even overall with the original maybe a tad stronger in subtle ways but much weaker in some more obvious others hard to judge almost plays like an extended tv episode of the anime so think about the fact of how much happens what happened in one episode of the show and dbz gets picked on for dragging things out same thing with the canon on this one Take your pick on which one's canon. They both can be. 3.5 out of 5 stars. Probably the best thing to come out of these was the DBZ abridged version from Team 4 Star. <laughs> Plan to Eradicate Christmas. I highly suggest you check it out. That's a 5 star movie. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, share with your friends who also love DBZ. More content coming soon and remember, always look for the good.